Hi and welcome to Whiskey Shared. You're watching day three of my mystery whiskey advent calendar. I'm Toby and you're watching Whiskey Shared. Welcome to day three of my mystery whiskey advent calendar. If you've seen this before, then you can just skip straight forward to the tasting. Otherwise, the way this works is I have over 150 samples in my sample collection and my wife has kindly picked 24, one a day in the lead up to Christmas, to make a whiskey advent calendar for me. So, she'll pour one a day into this blue Blenkin glass. The reason for the blue glass is to make it completely blind so the colour doesn't influence my guesses. I'll nose it, I'll taste it, I'll tell if I like it, and I'll have a stab at what I think it is. Should we find out what I'm drinking? On to the whiskey. Right, so if you want to play along with me and find out what's in my glass when I do, then just keep watching. Otherwise, take a look in the description for a sneak peek. Let's start with the nose. Okay, so this is sweet. Hmm. Already I'm getting like, um, like a dirty, oily Campbelltown vibe. There's some stone fruits, I think. Yeah, like, yeah. Maybe in berries as well, like blackberry. Mmm. Yeah, really is, uh, really is sweet and fruity. There's some cereal in there. Mmm. Maybe some vanilla as well. Not getting much more though. Let's try, uh, try it on the palate. Okay, so definitely think there's some sort of fortified wine or red wine influence. This is quite tannic, cloying. Doesn't really like suck your cheeks in too much, but there is a little bit of that, a little bit of dryness in the mouth. There's some sweetness, fruity, there's vanilla, as well as the sort of jammy notes that uh, I'm picking up. But I don't think it's overly high ABV at this stage. Let's have another sip. Okay, so ABV wise, probably is a bit higher, maybe 48%, possibly 50 around that sort of ballpark. Definitely is drying the mouth quite a bit now. The cereal note isn't overly strong. That fruity, jammy, whining note is really strong though. A um, little bit of heat, a little bit of pepper. But that Campbelltown note that I picked up on the nose, it is there, that sort of dirty oiliness. That is there, but it's it's not very strong. I think the red wine influence on this, you know, that that wine influence is quite quite powerful and yeah, I think it's muted down that sort of dirtiness on the palate. I'm not certain this is a Campbelltown though, but it has a, that sort of characteristic. Could be from anywhere. But it is it's quite nice. I think it's the sort of dram probably would benefit from a couple of drops of water. But I reckon it's around the 50% ABV and possibly, I'd say, Scotland. But I'm not going to narrow it down specifically. It's quite nice though, but I definitely think this would open up really well with a few drops of water. In terms of finish, there is uh, charred oak, there is pepper, there is sweetness from the sort of jammy notes. And yeah, there is a slight funkiness there as well. Shall we find out what's in my glass? So it's Ardmore traditional cask. It's 46% ABV and well, it looks like I bought this myself. I think I bought it, I reckon I bought this about two and a half years ago and haven't got around to trying it. Well, I think I've probably only tried a couple of Ardmores in the past and I don't think this is vaguely like either of those, but it's very nice, it's quite interesting. I'm not sure if it does have, you know, a wine influence, but I'll definitely 
check it out and um, see if it does. Well, obviously I can only thank me for the sample, but it's um, about time I got around to trying it. So um, this is a good way of using up those samples. Hopefully you enjoyed this and if you have tried it and well, you pick up what I do or you don't pick up what I do, let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to hear. Sorcha, I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not give it a like or a comment? And please consider subscribing for more videos like this.